Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install classic Windows 7 games for your Windows 11 computer. So you may have noticed with Windows 8 and Windows 10, they no longer include the same kind of games that were available in earlier versions of Windows. Well, today I'm going to show you guys a free utility that will download these games onto your computer that very closely mirror or if not the same as the Windows 7 games. So I mean they're going to look incredibly similar or if not the same like I said. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start off by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one but we're going to open up Microsoft Edge for today's tutorial and you're going to go ahead and paste the link I'm going to have in the description of the video here guys for a Windows 7 games. I've already made a tutorial for this for Windows 10 but this does work for Windows 11 as well and you can see a little assortment of the games included here such as chess, free cell, and you got hearts, you got solitaire, purple place, minesweeper, and spades, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and select the download games button here. It's about 147 megabyte download, so it might take a moment or two to download depending on your internet speed. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open it up. And run the setup file here. Select Run. Select Yes if you receive a user account control prompt and then select your appropriate language and then OK. And then select Next. If you want to customize which games are installed, you can at this point. It doesn't really change the size of the file too much, but again, you definitely can go through here and then select Install. And then you can uncheck this option here and then select Finish. And if you were to open up the search and just search for any of these games here, you could search for Chess, for example, and you would see the app would appear. It's just one example. And you can see it look just like Windows 7. And if you close out of there, you can open up the other games too, like Solitaire. And you can do Hearts and all the other games in there too. So I think we got the point across. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.